Hey everybody, Bill1911 here. Hey, today we're up here at Baker Act Customs taking a look at some of their bikes and some of the things these guys do. Well, let me tell you something. We touched base on them a little bit at the auto show, but due to some technical difficulties with our microphone, we didn't get audio on a lot of what we wanted, so what we're doing now is we're at their shop and we're looking at the things that are actually taking place on the nuts and bolts business end of this. And I think you're going to be amazed at some of the stuff you see. You know, quite often you'll see a bike with a price tag on it and you'll go, why so much money? Well, we're going to try and show you some of that today. All right, so over here, we have a trike that's being built up. Um, I'm going to try and show you a little bit about it. It's kind of cool. Okay. This is the back end of it. Okay. And that's the drive unit that makes this a three wheel uh, motorcycle instead of two. Um, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be doing some stuff with the fenders, tricking things out on that. But one of the cool things about this is all the wheels and everything, these guys are all copper plated. Look at it all dressed out in copper. When this is done, I promise you, it is going to be, like everything else they do here, it's going to be an artwork on wheels. It's not just a motorcycle. Okay, this is the 30-inch front wheel they have of this motorcycle. Well, that's something else, isn't it? Okay, this is one of the things I wanted to show you that's kind of a big deal. Um, when they initially make these parts for these motorcycles, they're not made out of fiberglass origin, or initially. If you'll take a look, this has a skeletonized frame in it, this wire work they did in here. And from there, they then added sheet metal to the outside of it to make this fairing, okay? So, all this is a tremendous amount of work. Whenever you put sheet metal on it, you're going to find little ripples and things like that. Well, that all has to be cleaned up and taken out. So, when you look at this fairing from the outside, okay, Look at that. Everything is just smooth as glass. The paint is gorgeous on it. It's all detailed just beautifully. Okay, when you see this, this is no joke. I mean, look at what they did underneath on here, okay? This is like engine turned on the metal itself, and then they put a finish over it to keep it from rusting. But this is, this is just gorgeous. And then they detailed with, with pinstriping all over the outside of it. So, a lot, a lot of detail on these motorcycles. Now this is an original part. You cannot get this anywhere else in the world. This is the only one of its kind. Okay, so this is the bike that this, that, that fairing I just showed you came off of. Check this thing out. Look at all the details. Look at how all of these little corners diamond cut, okay? And then we come over here to the wheel. That's a 34 inch wheel. That's a big guy right there. Originally, this wheel is just one big piece of aluminum and then it's all CNC machined into this wheel. And again, if we look close, okay, if I can get the focus to operate. All right, you can see the diamond cut on each one of these spokes of this wheel, okay? So everything on this bike, there's just such a tremendous amount of detail in everything. Even places that you don't necessarily see because they're underneath that, that bearing that we looked at a minute ago, even this is all diamond cut. It's all just gorgeous. And we come down here, and we have this entire fairing piece that comes down here, okay? So this is all metal. I know it looks like fiberglass, but it's not. It's all metal. So everything these guys did on this bike Everything is metal and it's fabricated here. And this is what we come up with. We come up with a work of art. Even in the parts that you can't readily see, it's a work of art. Come back here to the back wheel. And this back wheel matches that 34 inch front wheel. You can see again, you can see the diamond cutting in here. Okay. Look at that. Is that something else or what? So what these guys have done here is not your normal bike. I mean, this thing is something else, okay? Now, on the suspension on this thing, this thing actually sets right down on the ground on a center stand, okay, that's underneath that you can't see, but the whole frame drops down and sits down on that center stand, okay? 
and with pneumatics or air okay you can see the little air lines here that run everything they lift the bike up in the air to ride it okay and then the front end comes up a little bit it's lifted so all that happens through air pressure okay so I mean this is something else this is some very special work here so when you see price tags on these things you think well why should it cost that much well this is the reason why every one of these parts the gas tank this flare on the gas tank this all has to be manufactured okay and this is all metal nothing here is fiberglass this is all the real deal again you can see underneath here's the engine turned metal underneath all that work so when you start getting to that level of detail on something there's a cost to it all right so you like chrome this little guy has got some chrome on him look at those handlebars are those something or else or what this is what we get here we get some really beautiful stuff this is Baker Act Customs in the market for something a little bit more traditional well, here you go I'll tell you what I'd love to have about six or seven of these things in my Christmas stocking this year not that it's going to happen, but I would love it. All right. And then when we look right next to this one. Look here. Check out that wheel on that. Again, that's one of those wheels that started out as a solid billet of aluminum and was machined into this. So you end up with something that's really extraordinary. At the auto show, we watched as, um, I don't know if it's on this bike or not, I don't know at all, I don't think it is, but these tops on the saddlebags on the back of this, they were pneumatically operated and they, they kind of opened up like that and went back down. It was really cool looking. All right, so you like purple? I like purple. Look at this baby, wow. I'm telling you, this thing, every inch of it just seems to flow right into itself. This is what custom motorcycles are all about right here. Everything is, how do I put it, the shape of everything fits with the shape of everything else. It's not just randomly put together. These are a few parts. It's not like that. Okay, you look down here at the, the footrests and they've got similar designs uh, flares to them as the rest of the bike so everything on here just really matches into itself and you end up with a real work of art come over here and we've got another beautiful machine I don't know I don't know why I keep saying beautiful machine they all are beautiful machines check this out all right, and here's a little touch of South Florida. Alligator hide seat. Is that something else or what? Come over here, look at this guy. Just imagine the amount of hours that are involved just in polishing out the top of that fender. Not to mention making this stuff in the first place. All this stuff is manufactured here. Now there are some parts that are brought in and uh, put on the bikes from other manufacturers. But a lot of the, the stuff here that's really unique, these guys make this stuff. All right. Look at that. I learned at the auto show that they call the ones with these big wheels on the front of them, they call them big wheels. Kind of like the toy that we had when we were kids. The 
Baker Act Customs also does apparel. They have hats, they have t-shirts, just anything you need, they've got it. Okay, check this stuff out. Looks like they even have a straight jacket here. Holy smokes, look at that. They've got hoodies. They've got sleeveless. They've got helmets. They've even got surfboards. Look at that. And if you wonder if these guys get a lot of trophies and stuff, well, here's a couple of them right here. So not only are these things works of art, these things are also uh, rideable machines. They are the real deal. They're not just for show. They actually do take these motorcycles out and ride them. The one that we showed you the fairing on, that's, that's, just, that's one he rides all the time. Okay, so we're going to meet the brains behind these beautiful motorcycles, the guy that does the designs on these things. This is Shannon Fleischman. Hi, how you doing? I'm Shannon Fleischman. Uh, we've been in business about eight years. We were cartel baggers till about two years ago. Then we changed the name to Baker Act Customs. I'm the one that runs the shop, designs the bikes, uh, does the receiving, does the shipping, does the ordering, orders the shirts, just about everything in the shop uh, with help from Dana, this much from Scott, not so much. Um, but again, we've been, our reviews and our word of mouth are all good because I come from the customer service world. I was in retail for 25 years before I started doing this. Uh, I, my father got sick. I wanted to leave of absence. He passed away. They wanted to give me less money to come back. So I said, let me do what always been my passion, which is what I think makes us different from everybody else. It's more about passion than just trying to make a buck. I think we're more detailed than most, if not all. Um, we don't let anything go. If I wouldn't ride it or we're not happy with it, we'll never let a customer leave unhappy as far as we know. So we do everything in our power to make the best experience we can from start to finish and we stay in contact. We do rides for charities. I do 22 push-ups for PTSD almost every day. So I'm a huge, um, I have mad respect for teachers, uh, nurses, doctors, police, Anybody that doesn't get the respect that they need, I'm, I'm nuts about football players making the money they do and the police officers and everybody doesn't like police officers until they need them. I, I hate all that thinking, so I have a lot of respect for police officers, military, never been. But again, just one of my things that I try, try to do every day and show the respect that I have for them. Um, and we're in Fort Lauderdale, the phone number is 754-223-7778, always available, you can always text me. I'm here six days a week. It's supposed to be closed too, but I'm always here. So if you ever need us, just come by and check us out. So Shannon, what can you tell us about this bike that's behind you, this beautiful, gorgeous machine here? So what about the construction on it? So this bike is was my expensive business card. This is my, if you got the time and the money, we could do anything. It's all handmade, all metal, all in the shop. It's got metal tank. We made the frame with the molded and chin spoiler. It's got a, a four inch open primary, which you won't see on touring bikes. Usually they're the two inch. And again, speaking about my dad, I got the miss you dad here. Because I, again, I'm in this business because I lost him. There it is, miss you dad. That's and then fantastic. The dollar sign in the 13. I got a dollar sign there and a 13 there. And if you look over there, that dollar sign on the wall. That was my father's MO. He had that in the back window of his Cadillac Eldorado. So you can imagine what I come from. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the front fork on this. This looks pretty unique. It so looks like it's only on one side yes, of the motorcycle. It's a one sided fork, all handmade aluminum. This was designed, uh, made by a guy named Steve Schuler in Canada. There's somebody out there that takes the credit for it, but Steve Schuler is the brains behind this. I ride it every day, or as much as I ride. Just like any other bike, people are always freaked out by the balance of it. You wouldn't even know it's on there other than the, the screws with your brain knowing that it's one cap holding on your front wheel. But it's a 30 inch wheel. We took it to Sturgis, we rode through the mountains. I mean, I ride it as an everyday rider. Um, again, it was all handmade. I got the electric. Oh, well look at that. It's a lay frame. All the bags are all metal. 
seat was made by a guy named Mike uh, Benitez, actually down in Kendall. Paint job was by Rick Corgan. Again, we made everything else. The pipes were made here. Not this set of handlebars, but the left set of handlebars we made. Um, the lights were designed by my my Brazilian MacGyver, Eduardo. I, re, I pretty much do redo this bike every year. If you look around, you'll see different pictures of this bike because I constantly redo it because mm -hmm. it's just like a bittersweet. I, I would love to sell it, but love having it. And again, shows what we could do if somebody was interested in doing a full-blown custom as well as Phil's bike. All right. Well, thank you, Shannon. This thing is a work of art. There's no doubt about it. I love the pneumatics on the, on the uh, saddle bags and all the rest on it. It's amazing. So this sets right down onto like yeah. a center stand that's right. built oh, into no the frame? Stand, right on the frame. Right on the frame, okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so a lot of bikes, like that one, sit on the center stand. That one sits on the center stand. That one sits on the center stand. These are called lay frame. Okay. So the battery box, the swing arm, and the neck are made differently so it sits all the way to the ground and then the wheel goes up in the fender so these mm -hmm. fenders are a little bit higher than a bike that okay goes center stand this so the whole swing frame. arm and everything just kind yeah. of kind of settles mm -hmm. down on the pneumatics yeah amazing this one's a lay frame scott's is a lay frame mm -hmm. i love purple yeah yeah when my... i built this bike and because we have so many crazy colors i was trying to think of something different I said, let's do purple, and I was shocked how many men love purple. I was shocked. And this bike actually happens mm -hmm. to be for sale now for quite a great price because we got other bikes that we need to get built, so this one needs to go. Well, I was going to say, I've got an empty Christmas stocking. Yeah. Uh -huh. It will fit in perfect. <laughs> well, thank you, Shannon. Thank we you. appreciate, appreciate it. it. We, we've enjoyed coming here today. And uh, I, think we've, I think we've seen some, some really unique and beautiful machines here. And like we've said several times, these are not motorcycles. These are works of art on wheels. One other thing I wanted to show you on Shannon's bike is if you look at the cylinder head and the cylinder, these things are all diamond cut. I mean, look at the attention to detail on this. If I can get the autofocus to work. All right, there you go. Look at all the diamond cutting on the on the cylinder and all that. And then there's that Miss You Dad link to the, to the transmission, I mean, it's amazing. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Shannon. We appreciate the tour. Thank and you for coming by. I appreciate it. All right. I'm Bill 1911. We'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. Bill 1911 here. Hey, listen, if you're watching this video, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? That's really important to us. And make sure you like us. And by all means, come to visit us at AskBill1911.com